Hey YouTube, this next diecast review will be on Marco Andretti's US Concrete 118 scale diecast from Greenlight Collectibles from Gutsware. And I'm really excited to review this car. I mean, I did not get the US Concrete in 118 scales in the last two years or so. And I'm very happy to receive this one mainly largely due to the fact that, you know, there's only one being made this year, and uh, we're also getting the Marco Surgery car. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's the, it's the company right on the on the side pods here. Um, they're making a 164-only car. There's two 164s this year being made from Marco, and there's one 118 being made this year. This is the one 118 scale. Uh, just to run you down what will be made... On Friday, I'll be ordering the Colton Herta, the Tony Kanon, the ugh, what else? Uh, the the Kellett, and some other guy was coming out in 118. I forget who it was. Oh God, it, this is gonna kill me. Um, but the Kimball, the Kellett, uh, the Rossi Napa, and the uh, the Marco Surgery will be made in 164, coming in this week or in the next 10 days. So. Refresh Guts Wears eBay page daily, and you'll probably see it. But anyways, this is the Marco Andretti US Concrete Card. This is a very awesome looking die cast. Uh, I really am happy to receive this. Uh, this is really a, just a kind of a generic car. Like, uh, this is not really anything too particularly special. I mean, you know, if you are a Marco Andretti fan, which there are plenty out there. You know, I know some people who are Marco fans, and they like to collect this die casts, and uh, they like to... Mostly people like to get the die cast signed and uh, more power to them. So they like to have one car per year and this is the one car per year minus the uh, 500 special he had last year where that car was just god awfully slow. Oh, God. I, I picked Marco as a sleeper. Like after qualifying. I'm like, you know, Marco's a sleeper. Maybe he'll be like a top 10, not podium kind of like, but he'll be kind of in there. It was three laps down by the time I believe lap 50 came along. It was horrible, and I shouldn't be reminding me my friends that my friend my friend Brandon or my friends uh, Dylan. You know they they shouldn't be reminded of how bad that performance was. That was awful. But anyways, uh, time to take this thing out of its box and begin the diecast review of the Marco Andretti U.S. Concrete Car. So now this diecast is finally out of its box. We can finally review this thing. Um, you know, this is a very cool looking Marco Andretti car. Like I said before, you know, I did not collect the uh, US Concrete cars beforehand in the previous years, but you know, this is really for the diehard Marco Andretti fans that are kind of like, you know, I want a US Concrete car. I want to get one of his diecasts. You know, this is, this is not a bad car to have. I mean, the 500 car from last year is a car that's probably, is already gone off the market it is n almost nowhere to be found otherwise outside of gutsware um that's an extremely hard car to find i can the, the 2019 is still around the 2019 is still around but now the 2020 is out if you're looking at a particular car may I, I, you know i only would get the 2019 if it's on sale if it's not then just go ahead and purchase this one if you're really thinking about it but if you're just here to watch a video I'm glad you joined here for a video. But you know, let's take a look at some of the sponsors in this car. We got the Signature Andretti Chrome Nose, we got US Concrete, we got Delara, we got AutoNation, Gate Hot Napa, GameBridge, DHL, US Concrete, we got Honda, we got NTT IndyCar Series, you got Universe, you got number 98, you got Mark uh, Mark Andretti, US Concrete, we got Siemens, you got Firestone. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. You got Hobson, you got Drive Pink, you got the Firestone Tires, you got Circle K, you got Oberto, which is a beef jerky brand, you got US Concrete, we got PDI, you got Baff, Curb Records, uh, Sharon Williams, fun fact, uh, this car is number 98 because Mike Curb co-owns this car, so it's of course, it's a Mike, it's a Mike Curb car when it's number 98 on it. Also, that is familiar to you, yes, Dan Weldon, yes, Alexander Rossi, you know, those were all 98, number 98 cars. Because all was all sponsored by Curb Records. Uh, let's see. You got Honda. You got NTT IndyCar Series. You got Marco Andretti, which Marco's name is in cursive, and the Andretti's in in a nice print. You get out what you put in. You got Speedway. You got Oberto, Circle K, powered by Honda, U.S. Concrete. You got Curb Records. You got Unifirst. 
Surgery, got Stratasys, P1 NTT, Firestone, we got Delivera, got usconcrete.com, got 98, and that's all she wrote there. All oh, the beautiful detailing of all the works that goes on to the back of the car. So you got the gearbox, you got the onboard starter, you got the exhaust pipes, you got the axles, you got the suspension pieces, you got everything. Got everything in its grandmother. Maybe not its grandmother. And it's like the same as the left. So in reality, this is an awesome looking die cast. I really do love this car. I mean, um, you know, if you're looking at the 164 version, the surgery car is going to be obviously the one to pick up. That's going to be a nice car. I kind of wish they made a 118 of it, but they only produced 164 of it, so that's kind of a little bit of a loss there but the 118 at least you know for all the marco fans to have like all his cars lined up i used to i collected every marco car from 06 07 i don't have the 08 in indiana jones i don't think i do not have that one fuck i uh, know how that one um i have the i should i should get the clone i think i have the clone wars car the 118 i don't know that's going to be a nice one to have. Uh, I do have the 2013. I do have the 2014 124. I do have the 2014 Dr. Pepper, which is... Uh, that's on clearance at Guts where That's a nice car to have for a cheap price. And uh, the 2015, the 16, and the 17. And I stopped collecting for a little while. I didn't get, I didn't get the 2018s, 2019s, and now I'm kind of resuming again in 2020. I kind of picked a bad year to stop collecting because the 2018s are really hard to get now. Rip me, unfortunately. Anyways, you know, but overall, this car has a, the identical liveries to all the Andretti cars, all across the board. It's got a little strip of red here on the wings. It's got a strip of red on the on the um, the air flakes or the, or the side pods, we want to call them. I really call these the side pods, but these are really just air flicks. It just flicks the air over the tire and just goes right over it. But um, anyways, if you see right here, where it's red here, it's a different material. Like, it actually doesn't feel like it's matter really anything, but it's a different material than what is on the, on the uh, side pods or on the tub or on the roll hoops or on the... On the um, windscreen you know it's all this is a different material it's almost like it's decaled or also like it's almost like it's coated differently so they, it really is possible to have a die cast with the different materials on it that's that's actually pretty cool to have the tooling for that i'm pretty impressed with that but um that, that part's red and you got the signature and ready tobacco banner like i always say before with the with mario and soul sponsor that is that is gray stone gray outlined in white outlined in red it is beautiful gorgeous great looking car um, but the tub overall is colored white and the rest of the car is white really uh, the, air, the or air screen is colored colored gray or it's colored gray I would call it gray that's a more of a gray than a silver that looks more gray than silver I really can't get, I really get those colors confused all the time but that's part that's the aero screen the TV pods colored red and the rear wings colored gray the mirrors are colored red. Got the suspension pieces, which are carbon fiber. And that's all she wrote there. Ah, nice looking car. It gets a good rating out of me. I would give it a good I would, I would give it a good recommendation for the Marco Andretti fans, but if you're just a casual fan just watching a video, I say hi and thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Because we got some real other badass cars to look over forward to. If you're kind of on the fence with this car and you're kind of like putting your money down i would say stop right there hold on there fella because we got the tony canon we got the colton herda we got the dalton kelly what were the other ones oh god damn it, i gotta get, get my phone out this is a live room this is a live session here i can put also my community page i really should remember this hold the phone don't Go immediately purchasing this one. This is probably one where you probably should wait till the end of the year, more than likely, if it's on sale at the end of the year, because 
we are getting the following. And you'll thank me for holding on to these. Oh, here's ones we're getting. Oh, I, I thought we were getting... Anyways, we're getting the Colton Herta Capstone, Pato Award Arrow, Felix Rosenquist, NTT Data, Dalton Keller K-Line, and Tony Kanaan Big Machine Vodka. So that is why I'm telling you, hold on to your money, because we got five 118s that are coming out that are hotter than hot sex at Daytona Beach, Florida. Don't ask me where I came up with that phrase from. <laughs> um, but, you'll see why. Mr. Noonan's telling you to hold on to your cash right now, because while this is a great car and all that, wait on this one. This is one that will be available at the end of the year. This one will be on the shelves at the end of the year. Those five I just mentioned, you might have to sell an arm and a leg at the end of the year to get those. So hold on to the money here. We got some cool videos for you. Comment, like, and subscribe. This is Race Day 20, reminding you to join the fight to stop bullying. It does get better to die. Kiss, get as always. Happy to see you.